Hey, I'm Aaron Nace. Hi, I'm Angela Butler. And I'm Jenna Patrone. Welcome, Welcome to, to Flurn. Hey guys, welcome to Florida. My name's Aaron Nace. You can find me on Twitter at AK Nacer, where I was just hanging out with Jenna and Angela, who are two new people working at Flurn full time, baby. It's awesome. We're growing and getting bigger, and uh, we're doing it all to help you and bring more content to you. Today, we're doing a really cool episode. We're doing all about cutting someone out from the background, and it's totally free for you because we make free videos for you guys. And uh, there are a couple different techniques I wanted to go over in this tutorial. We're going to be doing some stuff with channels, and we're also going to be using the pen tool. So I know a lot of you guys are really not too cool with the pen tool, but I'm going to show you today some tips that are going to help you um, like the pen tool a little bit more. So let's go ahead and get started. We've actually got an image that we're working on today. This is by um, Donna, who's someone in the family, and she submitted this image, and uh, I think it's really cool. So we're going to make it happen. I'm guessing that's a wig. Um, I don't know too many Asian people who have that color hair, so I'm just going to assume that that is a wig there. And uh, we're going to cut her out from her background. And a lot of the time when you're cutting an image out from the background, you have several different factors. Um, you have hard edges, which are like right over here. I would consider this a hard edge, like right at the edge of her arm and the edge of her dress. That's a hard edge. It's really well defined. Um, something that's what I would consider a little softer edge would be like her hair here. It's just, it's not as well defined. And um, so you kind of have to use two different techniques to get the edges defined on each of those. So what we're going to do here, I'm going to grab a, my background layer and I'm going to grab my pen tool. Now you don't have to use the pen tool if you don't want to. You could use like a magnetic lasso tool or a different tool like that. Um, but I'm going to grab my pen tool and I just want to show you guys a quick technique that's going to make it just a little bit easier for you if you are trying to learn how to use a pen tool. So one thing you can do is you can actually just click a few points right around the area that you want to cut out. So for instance, I'll just cut that thing out. Um, I'm just going to click a few points right here along her body. And what it does is it actually makes straight lines in between all these points. Now the pen tool, you really don't want to use it to make straight lines. It's actually really great to make curves. But if you want to start it off by using just straight lines, I'm going to just bring it over here because we're going to cut her hair out using a different technique. If you want to start off just making straight lines, there's actually a really quick tip that is going to help you guys use this tool um, at, the, at the end. And notice I'm kind of like trying to click at the edge of each one of these curves. So like at each one of these edge points, I'm just clicking. So if like we have a curve there, like you could curve, click one there in the middle and then one at the end. And then, you know, right up here and then right down there. There we go. And I'll just cut out the top half of our subject here. Okay, so that's with our pen tool. Now what I'm gonna do is we're gonna zoom in a little bit and I'm gonna hold the Alt key or the Option key and just click on each one of these. And then you can just kind of drag them around and make these into curves. So you can get like consistent curves. There we go, you just grab that and turn these back into curves from straight points. If you want to, you can hold down the control or command key and you can just move these around as well. There we go. And you can see like really quickly and easy, holding down alter option again, I'm just turning these back into curves. So where they were just straight points, now they're all curves. And if you do need to move around, Again, just hold down the control key. So this is a quick way to just make all of your, um, all these points kind of like even out. And you can see like around that area, it's just, it smooths everything out much better. And a lot of people like doing this technique because it, it doesn't mean you have to be so good with the curves. You can like, you can actually kind of be sloppy and then just go in and change everything afterwards. There we go. Just like we're doing here. So this isn't going to be perfectly cut out because obviously we're not spending a ton of time on it. Um, but this does, it is a really quick method for you guys who maybe are just starting to get to use the pen tool. And for me, like it took a while to get to use the pen tool. Um, I would say at least a few months of like real practice with it. Um, but now that I do it and you know, I, I like the tool, it, it really is a great way to cut things out from the background. All right. So we have our selection there and I'm pretty happy with it. It's not perfect, but it'll do for, it'll do for right now. Anyway, let's just fix that up a little bit too. All right, there we go, and we'll bring that in. So now that we have our selection, or our pen tool, all the way around the edge, what I'm gonna do is, uh, we're just gonna duplicate this background layer. I'm gonna right click here on the inside of it, and just go to make selection, and we'll feather the radius by about one pixel. There we go, so you can see it's selected right around the edge of our subject. That didn't really take too long. Now that we have that selected, I'm gonna click on my layer mask button, 
and it's going to load that into a layer mask. So this is what our layer mask looks like. You can't really see too well, but um, we're just going to put like a, a solid color background behind our subject. So our new layer, we're just going to grab, I don't know, like this pink color or something like that. There we go. And hold Alt or Option Delete and fill with that color. So you can see that this is, um, this is what our background looks like now, and that's where she's been cut out of her background. So we haven't cut her head out. So what we're going to do is I'm going to make that invisible, or you could just shift click on here to make your layer mouse temporarily not active. There we go. And we're going to zoom in and now we're going to use channels to get her head cut out. So we're using channels because it is a soft edge and we need to do something a little bit better for her hair. Okay. So now that we have this, I hit shift and this disabled my layer mask. I'm going to go up here into my channels and I'm going to look at my red channel, green channel, and blue channel. And what we're looking for here is a big difference between light and dark. And you can see like with the red channel, it's not so big of a difference. With the blue channel, it's a much bigger difference. So it's going to give me more information to cut out. So I'm going to click and drag my blue channel. We're going to duplicate that. And then I'm going to hit command L to bring up our levels. And basically with the levels, I just want to exaggerate that a little bit more. And so we're going to do that by bringing up the darks a bit. There we go. And we'll just bring the lights up a little bit as well. So this exaggeration is just going to help make a selection that's going to um, that's going to help cut the person out from the background. There we go. So you can see now we have a nice dark edge on a light background. I'm going to command click on this layer which selects out the lighter part. So if you want to select out the darker parts, you have to inverse your selection. So I'm going to go to select and then down to inverse and now it's actually selected for the darker parts. Okay, I know that's really confusing. Basically, we're just using it to make a selection of her hair. And now her hair is selected. So I can go back here on my layer mask. There we go. And I can paint with like a white paintbrush. And now I just paint back her hair. And you can see it's not, I'm gonna hit Command H so you can see it a little bit better. I'm just painting back her hair and it's not painting back the background that was around it. It's just gonna be her hair now that's painting back. There we go. And looking at my selection here, let's just go back to our channels. Looking at what this actually looks like, everything that's lighter does get selected. So like the areas in her face, that's actually gonna get selected. The areas in the bow tie is gonna get selected too. So those parts aren't gonna be perfect. So I'm gonna deselect and then just paint them back in manually. And if I wanted to do the same thing up here, you could do that again too, like using the pen tool. There we go. This time I'm just going to click and drag instead of making those points. I'm going to click and drag because this is how I use the tool. I click and drag for every point and um, it's just a little bit faster in my opinion, but it does take a little bit more practice. There we go. All right. Normally you really wouldn't have to do this. Like if you were working on your image, you probably wouldn't have to go through this step. Um, the only reason I do is because this person has a bow tie in their hair, but um, your image probably won't have a bow tie in, in the person's hair. All right, we'll go to make selection, feather that by one pixel and go ahead and just fill that with white as well. So that's made into a selection too. Okay, so now I'm not gonna worry about the bottom part of our person, but we have you know perfectly selected out the hair. The only thing we have to worry about now is the edges. And we're just gonna get like, see it's like a little bit light towards the edges and it's not a huge deal, but one thing you can do, this is just a really quick, easy tip. I'm gonna make a new layer above all of these layers and I'm gonna clip this layer to the background copy. So the layer mask for the background copy looks like this, which is nice. It includes a, you know, a little bit of fringing in the hair, which is gonna show up as detail, but it's too light. It looks a little bit weird. So what we need to do is I need to create this layer right above it and then clip it. You can do it by right clicking and go to create clipping mask. And then I just need to get rid of the light colored fringes. So I'm just gonna choose a brush and choose a relatively dark color here and then just paint in the hair, like where it you know, was a little bit lighter there. And this layer, you know, it's on its own new layer, so it's not gonna destroy any information or anything like that. But I'm just basically painting in, you know, it, it shouldn't be light like that. It looks a little bit weird. So now I'm just kind of taking in my own information and because it's clipped and we're using a layer mask and everything like that, it's just gonna show up like regular hair. It's not gonna show up weird at all. There we go. And you can do this around your entire image. So this is just a really quick way and we go in a lot more depth in, uh, in more tutorials on cutting out hair and using different types of selections. We're gonna link to a great tutorial below on, um, it's a pro tutorial on like cutting out hair and it goes a lot more involved in this. But this is just like a really quick option 
that will get you pretty far towards where you want to go. Cutting some hair out and um, there we go. And I'm, <laughs> I'm just kind of painting in here quick. Um, another technique, if you wanted to use the clone stamp instead of just the regular brush tool, um, select current and below. Um, you could use the clone stamp tool as well. And then it would actually paint hair right over the hair instead of just with a regular brush. Um, so either way you guys want to do it, it's totally up to you. And um, there we have it. Someone cut out of a background perfectly and um, including the hair. So that's what our selection looks like. Oh, actually, you know what? It's not perfect because it looks like this on the inside. I would recommend doing this. Um, hold Alt or Option and click on your layer mask and you can actually just see what your layer mask looks like. And you can see here, like I'm gonna go in here and fix it a little bit just because I had some selections that kind of dictated what was going on with my layer mask. But other than that, it looks um, very good. So that's exactly what we want. There we go. Our layer mask is great. Alter option, click up back on there. And now we could put her on any background. Like if we wanted to make a new layer below that and just grab, you know, like a red color, I could just paint this back behind and it'll show up, you know, like behind her hair because she's cut out from her background now. You can put her in on, on anything you want. All right, guys, that's it for Flurn. If you got want your image edited on Flurn, make sure to leave it in a, we have a suggest an episode box up there in the connect and you can just go down and suggest an episode and you can put your image in and then we can edit that here on Flurn. Not only that, but we have a texture contest going on this week on Facebook. We're gonna link to that below. You can submit your images. We give you the free textures. You guys could submit your images after you apply those textures and you can win a free texture pack on Flurn. Thanks so much for watching Flurn, guys. I'll learn you later.